Hi students, welcome to this course, PLC Automation, an introduction to programmable large controller. I am Professor Yang. Examples of counter function for industrial applications. The keywords, repetitive pause, the sum, the difference, a rate, a time interval. Example 1. Thread counting in process. The counter output goes on after the, the set count is received by repetitive pause to the counter input. Example 2. Two counter used with a common register to give the sum of two counts. Example 3. Two counters used with a common, common register to give difference between two count. Example 4. A process where a time interval is started when the counter reaches a preset value. Example 5. A process where a count of events is to start after a fixed time interval. Example 6. A process where a rate is determined by dividing a count by a time interval. Example 1. The keyword. Control relay to energize an indicator, its enable lines. Figure 10.2 illustrates the fundamental use of a PLC counter. After a certain number of counts occurs, the output goes on. The output can be used to energize an indicator. The output status could also be utilized in the later diagram logic in the form of a content. The counter function is shown for either an up, uh, an up counter or a down counter. They both perform the same function in this illustration. Either counter will function if its enable lines is energized. Of the count input receive 18 pulse, the control relay function output will energize. This is show the basic PLC counter operation program. Example 2, the keywords, a combination of two counters, proximity devices, an output indicator, a conveyor, monitor the proper count to reset the system. Figure 10.3 illustrates the use of a combination of two counters. Suppose that we want an output indicator to go on when 6 of part C and 8 part of D are on the conveyor. The circuit would monitor the proper count in number 2 and in number 3 are proximity devices that pulse on when a part goes by them. 
Know that the circuit would not indicate more than six or eight parts. It would only indicate when there are enough parts. To repeat the process, turn in number one off to reset the system, then reclose in number one. This picture shows the dual counter application, the layout and the program. Example 3, the keyword. Keeping track of the net number of parts on a conveyor, the common register, and a Accurate initial count, counters register. The third example shown in figure 10.4 concerns keeping track of the net number of parts on a conveyor. The number of parts goes going on the conveyor is counted by one proximity devices count. The number leaving the conveyor is counted by a second proximity device count. Each proximity device feeds information into its own counter function. The total net count is kept in the holding register common to both counters. A program using two counters, one up and one down. For this application is shown in figure 10.4a. An accurate initial count is needed. When starting the operation, the number of parts on the conveyor must be determined. The count number is programmed into the common register, holding register 101. It is normally necessary to put this count number in the down counter as the precept number. Then any part going onto the con conveyor post, the up counter. The counter's register, which is common to both counters, will have its value increased by 1 for each entering part. Similarly, the part leaving decrease the common register count through the down counter. The number value in register holding register 101 represent the number of parts on the conveyor. We are assuming that no parts falling off the conveyor and none are added along the way. If the PLC you are using has an up and down counter, the program shown in figure 10.4b This picture shows the counter used for a net count. Homework. Handwriting all keywords and uh, submitting them to Coach Facebook. Just do the online quiz. And see you next time.